Hi everybody, Dr. Kogan, welcome to my channel, um, to GW Center for Integrative Medicine. Uh, today I decided to make a quick video on how to administer inhaled glutathione. Uh, you may be able to get glutathione in a couple different forms. So what we usually have is a 5 or 10 milliliter single vial use. I'll come back to that in a second, um, why it's important. Uh, and we usually use this intravenously at the clinic. However, you can use this uh, as an inhaled, and I will show you how. It's actually quite simple. What you need to have, you need to obviously have the material, the glutathione. You need to have a flush or some kind of a uh, sterile saline solution. You can take it out of the bag, or you can, of course, it's easier if it, it's, it comes in the some kind of um, um, syringe or a tube. Now, for the nebulizer, you can also obtain special nebulized glutathione that's a little cheaper. It comes in those little pink tubes. Uh, but this one is what I have. Um, sometimes it comes in five milliliter uh, syringes, some, sometimes in three milliliters. It doesn't matter. The volume you want is between three to five milliliters, and you'll see why. You need a syringe to take the glutathione out with. And if this is what's important. So this is a brand new vial. So what I'll be doing it, I'll take off the, the protective um, cap and you see the rubber in there. So if you're reusing it, because you actually can, if you're using it several times until everything finishes in a few days, you take the alcohol prep, you clean the top like this just once, you don't need to do it. And then you put the syringe in. So I happen to have three milliliter regular syringe, oops. Just had a sm sm minor snafu uh, <laughs> syringe cap. So you wanna do this. You wanna make sure you have enough air for the volume you wanna take. We usually administer 200 milligrams. If you look at the, at the vial, it tells you that this is 200 milligram per milliliter. And uh, there's a 10 milliliters here. So this is a 10 dose vial. So I'm gonna put the needle in, put air in, and then draw exactly one cc. So this is a 200 milligram dose. Okay, so that's 200 milligrams. So then I'm gonna take my nebulizer. Now I'm already connected, uh, you know, so I have a very low cost, very simple nebulizer that um, you may have actually much more advanced unit at home. It kind of doesn't matter. What you need to know, you need to know if you're using it, used your nebulizers before, there is a chamber. In this case, it's this. And that's what I do. I put this aside. I put my solution right in there. I recommend that before you sort of throw this out, hold on to this for a second. You wanna put it on a slip. One thing that's really important, the sterility here is relative. You wanna stay clean, but you don't have to be completely sterile. Remember, you're inhaling this stuff. So, you know, if you somehow slightly touched something, don't worry about it much because in reality, uh, because you're inhaling and it's not a sterile environment there, it's okay. So you wanna put three to five milliliters. This is 10, I'm gonna put five. So I'm gonna put half of the syringe in uh, right over the top where the I put glutathione in, okay? So this is done. In this case, I'm gonna recap. If you're throwing this out, that's fine. So now you can take that needle and you can use it to mix it slightly. You can also simply do this. You can put the lead back, get it ready for the inhalation and then just kind of tap it slightly, just make sure it's mixed. And that's it, and you're ready. You turn it on, you're gonna see the mist coming out. The last most important thing, it does smell funny. It smells like rotten eggs, don't worry. It actually is really good for your lungs if you have bronchitis, or if you have asthma, or if you have any problem that needs to be clearing. So you have pneumonia and you're trying to fasten the improvement, so you just breathe it. I, I love the smell, but some people feel it a little too strong, but you know, you get actually used to it very quickly. Breathe slowly and deeply. Make sure that you inhale through the mouth and then you exhale through the nose so you don't exhale back in. It doesn't make sense. And that's it. That's the whole process. So you need a vial of glutathione, you need a syringe to draw glutathione with, and you need a, a saline, 0.9% uh, sodium 
chloride uh, that's used either for injection or specifically for nebulized solution. Of course, you need a nebulizer of some sort. And I hope that this was useful. Um, stay tuned, watch more of my videos relating to health, wellness, and integrative medicine. Stay well, friends. Bye.